Good morning, how are you? My name is Nicholas and I'd like to welcome you to this webinar. Before we start, thanks for joining once again an Autologic Academy session on best practices for dealerships. This time we'll work with strategies that can be implemented in services and sales to boost revenue. Before moving forward, I remind you that uh, we'll be sharing this information at the end of the webinar. You also receive a brief survey so we can have your feedback and you can let us know if you like more information about our DMS to arrange a talk. For those who are new to this webinar series, let me tell you that Autologic is a cloud-based dealership management system that streamlines, optimizes and speeds up processes in each department of the leadership. Last week, we announced the roadmap for the coming months featuring a series of releases that will further enhance the DMS, such as Autologic Analytics. This is a layer of analytics fully integrated into the DMS that will facilitate decision making. If you want to see more of the DMS, you can let us know at the end of the webinar and we will get in touch with you. Talking about improving sales or generating more revenue in the surrounding scenario means uh, much more than focusing on new and used vehicle sales. We know that the global context is still rebalancing and in some countries the lack of new units is much more marked and recovery is slower. But still, we think it's vital to analyze some changes, habits, improvements and processes that we detected and discussed with customers who, towards this new panorama, chose to see how to generate sales by analyzing marginal improvement in every corner, every department, every daily task. To make the presentation dynamic, we'll analyze different cases where we um, worked and analyzed a process, thought of an improvement, and apply the change to leverage, empower, or correct. At the end of the day, all upgrades are transformed into money. We structure the talk so that we can address uh, three types of improvements. Time savings, taking advantage of opportunities, and generation of new opportunities. In each case, I will tell you how the improvement was reflected in some customers and I hope you can incorporate them, uh, many of them uh, in your dealerships. Before starting the journey, I want to refresh some questions that we repeat in each webinar and that you probably heard before. The impact of changes uh, doesn't occur overnight. We must be constant, meticulous, organized and patient. The second point to reinforce is related to the previous one. Habits are the basis of constant improvement. Without the habit, you cannot maintain constant growth. Habits are thought, proposed, agreed on, and repeated over and over. When a key task is repeated every day, it's gradually embodied in the company's culture in every process and every key aspect of the business. There is no more significant victory than adopting a habit that improves work. That is what we must achieve. There is a scenario that is repeated many times. An action is proposed, for example, call all customers who bought a vehicle two years ago to offer them the change and this action gives results. For instance, uh, of the 50 calls, 20% decided to advance in the, in the commercial process. Every sale is closed and celebrated and everyone is happy. And then two years pass and no one repeats the action. Why? Ask the leadership owner or general manager. And the answers will be that it was a one-time thing, it's not uh, in the daily tasks, we forgot to do it again. This is a crude example, no one will forget such a task. However, when these super effective actions are part of a habit, they will be achieved more often, they will be celebrated uh, more often, and with each repetition, the task will uh, even be improved. Other messages, other target audiences, other media, other graphics. One of the points we always focus on is unraveling the potential of management systems. 
the DMS, like Autologica Sky DMS, will solve processes in each department. Purchases, sales, inventory control, payments and collections, reporting, accounting issues, billing, etc., etc. But that's, uh, that's only one part. The strong point of the DMS, which you must always have as an ally, is the ability to generate information to make decisions, the existence of functions that automate tasks, the detection of opportunities, and the possibility of translating ideas into concrete improvements. The DMS is not a black box with data, nothing further. It's the platform from which to promote, sustain, and improve actions that will enhance the business. Not tapping into the potential of these tools is simply leaving money on the table, wasting valuable hours that could be better spent, missing key positions on repetitive tasks. We've told uh, this before, but it doesn't hurt to repeat it again. In a dealership where we worked a few years ago, we found super trained and very smart people that were slowed down by having to perform manual tasks. They could have uh, super effective and creative visions, but they spend the day loading information manually. Uh, for instance, vehicle checking, reports made in Excel sheets, calculation of hours consumed in the workshop, very long processes, and full of steps. This is like having the best player on the team on the bench. It is to avoid such scenarios that the DMS becomes the key player who will remove obstacles, help define strategies, measure the performance of each team, and assist each player in reaching the goal. Beyond metaphors, it's about getting the most out of a tool made just for that, working better. Without habits, the system isn't enough. Without the system, habits get lost in routine. For a long time, uh, workshops have become protagonists in it uh, in each dealership building, in part because vehicle sales dropped, and in part because the potential of each contact was discovered. At the beginning of the year, we went to one of the most important conventions of the automotive industry in the United States, and um, we will attend the the next one that will be held at the beginning of next year. And the workshop profitability, profitability story was addressed in several talks. The service department is the one that generates income throughout the lifetime of the vehicle and what uh, each dealer seeks to capture 100% of that potential. It uh, really doesn't matter if they are combustion vehicles, hybrid or electric, all of them will have to go through the workshop. Beyond the changes that are taking shape from now to the future, towards vehicle technology, vehicles should always go through the workshop. Of course, it won't be like we are used to. When technology changes sooner or later, habits change. Let's think, for example, what happened to the way of buying uh, with the arrival of e-commerce platforms. How did uh, we buy before these sites? How many times did we visit clothing stores? How many telephone stores did we visit? Or something more current? How did habits change with all the rage of delivery services and full service orders? Before, people went to a store, waited there, set a, a time to withdraw their orders, watched uh, television, or talked to the people. Today, we solve everything with an application. Let's leave aside uh, whether it's a positive or negative uh, change, that's a topic for another debate, but let's focus on the change in routines. We uh, must understand that many of these changes or facilities are beginning uh, to be demanded in all industries. And what can we do about this? First, I'd like to share with you some of the issues we have uh, seen at the recent events we attended through this year. Retention and loyalty. The competition never stops growing, especially with the appearance of new dealers and independent workshops that try to attract customers. Customers, on many occasions, don't define their loyalty just by the price. Offer extra services, but take advantage uh, where the vehicle is in the workshop. 
when the vehicle is already in a work bay or the technician is in the field repairing agricultural machinery and detects something, what does the technician do? Offer the repair, explain why the repair is advisable and encourage the customer to do it. This uh, seems obvious, but if it's not a habit, it's not done. Loyalty programs. Many dealerships are spending hours contacting key customers and large accounts, offering exclusive benefits, surveying their loyalty to the brand, and asking their opinions. And they do it intuitively, quickly. You don't need to do a focus group. Quite the opposite. Just as a streaming service encourages you to, con uh, to conduct a short survey, so uh, do the creative teams behind the detection of customer happiness. From service advisor to customer advisor. We'll address this later, but in the current scenario, they should see us as advisors, not as sellers. Well-argued advice sells more than a bulk message. Each contact should feed a service marketing strategy. Service marketing proposes to focus on not only on the vehicle sold, but also on the surrounding vehicles and uh, businesses. Dealerships use the service marketing functions of their DMS to calculate the estimated date of the next maintenance service and thereby leverage each customer's potential. If you aren't already using these functions, Autologica Sky DMS provides them. And last but not least, contactless and door-to-door -door services. All right, uh, let's look at two points in depth, especially focus on tools you should already know. First, the difference between a handmade checklist and a digital experience. On the one hand, we have a slower process subject to errors that involves moving everything to the system. And on the other hand, a much more dynamic experience fully integrated with the system. From the dealer side, it translates into time savings, ergo money savings. And from the customer side, we provide a different professional experience that allows them to shorten times. A policy focus on improving the customer experience in the dealership, anticipating their problems, and becoming a partner and co-pilot is the differentiating factor they will value. You don't need to apply great change strategies to increase customer loyalty and retention. By paying attention to small details and adjusting the daily practices of all employees, we'll, um, we'll build customer loyalty with very simple and low-cost strategies that positively impact the image of our dealership and our profitability. Let me tell you a case of a dealer who combined a different reception experience and innovative tools. On the one hand, they implemented a methodology of going to the customer to see the vehicle. Once there, from the tablet connected to the internet, they made the checklist. The customer is still at home. They took the unit to the workshop and once repaired, they returned it to the original location. We are talking about a unique service that prevents the customer from moving. Another very important opportunity to offer the best experience is to be efficient in the workshop, do the job right and on time, and have customers receive their vehicles when expected. And we decided to implement the RO Progress tool to improve this management in a customer with a large number of vehicles. What did this tool allow? See how each repair order was progressing in real time, detect the stages that were overloaded to relieve them, detect bottlenecks, and at the same time, discover which were the most oil stages at the workshop. So, imagine the time savings it takes to go from this to this here. Another practical example. Imagine now the time saving between this way of knowing how you are investing each hour in the workshop and this other way. The cost minimum for the advantages it offers. We always encourage you to look for tools that save money and improve satisfaction because it's the perfect combination 
to enhance opportunities. At the event we attended, more than one talk was dedicated to the sale of accessories. Focusing on the American market, they provided data that reflected the little exploitation of the sale of accessories and customization of the vehicle sold. There were two indicators that I think are more important to mention, basically uh, because moving, um, improving sorry, them means uh, increasing sales in each commercial process. Only 45% of customers are offered accessories or customization of, for their vehicles. A positive, comprehensive, and tailored customer experience promotes 40% more opportunities against the competition. Let's break it down. Concerning the sale of accessories, the speakers explained that for the American market, the customization of, of their vehicles and the sale of accessories is vital. They want to have a unique car, so they customize it. And that's uh, where you have to encourage the sale of accessories. Do not think that the sale of accessories only increases the cost to the customer, but offer what uh, we know they will pay because they like, because it offers a different experience in their vehicle and makes them feel unique. This practice could be crossed with the status and activity of accessories in stock and offer those that the customer may uh, want, but also the ones we want to sell. If we take the trouble to know the customer and detect their vocation, habits, tastes, activities, we can offer compatible accessories. If you implement an accessory sales strategy, let's not forget what we continuously repeat, measuring. Measuring if they are sold, measuring whether they are not sold and why, measuring is the only way to know if we are doing things right. Secondly, I like to focus on customer experience. Is it a good practice to adopt strategies to recover customers? Yes, absolutely yes, but it's best practice to create strategies not to lose them. Most of the time you work on the problem and not on its prevention, and this can be a costly mistake. Let's see three points that you can adopt in the daily routine and that in the long term will translate into satisfied customers, but above all loyal to the dealer and the brand. Know the voice of our customers. It's important to know what customers think and how they feel about the dealership. This is how to know what we do well to empower it and what we uh, must improve to avoid losing customers. One way to do this is with um, surveys conducted in the dealership and through different communication channels. Phone, uh, WhatsApp, uh, text messages, applications, email and social networks. Uh, what do you think of the service you received? How were you treated? Will you return to our uh, workshop or showroom? Know the customers. The more we know about each customer, the more resources we have to retain them. The more we know about them, the easier it will be to create customer uh, segments that can be permeable to the same successful uh, strategies. Knowing their needs, expectations, habits, work, family, etc., allow us to go a step ahead of them and offer them what they are waiting for. Be customer advisors. Be the co-pilot that offers you uh, transportation solutions. When customers feel that the dealer is a dedicated ally who thinks about how to ensure that the vehicle is always the optimal, the safest, and the right one, they will detect the value that differentiates us from the competition. It's important to see what uh, this link can be uh, strengthened. Offer vehicles according to their shops, families, interests, tastes, etc. Invitations to events and exhibitions. Do complementary services. And last but not least, promotions of complementary products that may interest them. Regarding this point, uh, there are two functions or tools that we suggest. On the one hand, using DMS data 
well in the business intelligence tool you can categorize uh, customers by their purchases to always have in mind which are the top knowing this list and without neglecting the rest you can take action for loyalty on the other hand, using CRM is key to conducting annual contact campaigns with all customers. To achieve this, you can use Autologica CRM to create customer segments according to their vehicles, locations, and purchases, and carry out campaigns offering what we know may interest them. All right, uh, with this panning, we address two major departments of the leadership. In future webinars, we'll work on other important topics as well. And let me remind you that at the end of this webinar, you'll receive a short survey to leave, to leave us your opinion. For those who are not an Autologica customer and want to coordinate a virtual and live demonstration of our DMS, you can request it uh, there or contact us uh, through email or one of our social networks. Okay, uh, with the aim of not extending the presentation any further, if there are questions left unanswered, we will be answering them through email and coordinating meetings if necessary. I want to remind you that we are going to send you the video, the recording of this webinar to watch it again or share it with those you consider. Without further ado, uh, I wish you happy holidays and a great and excellent start of the year and I remain available for anything you need. Thank you very much. See you next time.